Hey Flosstube, it's Jules and I'm doing a slightly different kind of video today. This is not a progress video in the sense of my stitching. I honestly haven't had a chance to get a lot of stitching done this week. I have some family coming in in just a little bit of time. I apologize for the shaky camera. This is a completely different way than I normally do my videos, but um, you'll see why here in just a second. But the thing that did happen this week, and the reason why I'm doing the video today, is because we got in the two framed projects that I submitted back a few weeks ago, had hoped to get in this past weekend, but they didn't come in until the other day. My husband went and reorganized the stitchy wall, hung everything up, and so um, anyway, that's why uh, we're doing this video today, because I'm going to show you what I have done. So my first project, as I turn you around... Whoa, there we go. This is my first project. Apologize for the sun glare. This is Westminster Abbey. It is a project that took me roughly three years. It's a full coverage piece, full cross stitch. Um, I believe I did it, I'm sure I did it on 18 count Ada. Um, and it is something that, it might be my favorite project that I've ever done. It is something that I am incredibly proud of. Um, and that, um, honestly, I'm so proud of, I think I'm going to bite the bullet and actually submit it into uh, the county fair this year, even though I've already submitted a video once, and, or submitted a video, submitted a cross stitch that I also loved, and it didn't, you know, it didn't do great, it got third, well, it did good do great, it got third place, but this particular project, um, you know, I think deserves or needs to be put out there just so that it can be seen. I'm just going to show you just up close the stitching um, and the colors and the changes in the colors. It's by no means the most complex cross stitcher that I've ever done. I think it's the best designed that I've ever done. Um, it, it basically is something that, um, you know, I don't even know where I got it from. It's been so many years. Uh, I mean, it's probably been six or seven years since I finished this project and that I had, you know, stashed away in a drawer. And then basically my husband was insistent that we get everything out and begin to get, you know, get everything framed and then he could put it up on this wall for me. But uh, so I, you know, you, you probably have to Google Westminster Abbey to see uh, about, uh, you know, if you wanted to find this particular pattern, because I, I just, again, I just don't know where it came from. So that's Westminster Abbey. Um, we've all seen Darth. Darth. You don't know the power of the dark side. And then I've got my promise me, you'll always remember that you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. The quote from uh, Winnie the Pooh. And I think this is a Lizzie Kate design. Um, I just, I absolutely love that. And then of course my stitchy frog. Now the thing that I couldn't show you before was the fact that the orange in his eyes matched the orange of the frame. So um, that's why I, in the end, decided to go with the orange frame. <coughs> Excuse me. And also because um, I simply had a small orange frame that would work. Let me show you, uh, you guys have seen this one before many times, but not up close. Uh, this is the New York City 1919 piece. I'll try to get the glare out if I can. Uh, there we go, that's a little better. Um, this is the one that I entered in the county fair that got third place. This is a reproduction of a photograph from 1919 of a New York City street. And I just, this one is just amazing. Um, roughly 15 uh, colors, I believe. And it was uh, done on 18 count Ada, full coverage, full cross stitch. Again, took three years. That seems to be the average for these large projects for me. I'll do a little close-up of this. Let's do it on the horsey horse. So you can see a little bit more. It's truly amazing, like when you look at it up close, or even when you look at these things in person, and then you look at them on a picture or on a video, and they just, they pop on a video or a picture, but in person, I mean, they look good, but they don't look quite as good as they do in this thing. All right, last but not least, another project that I have finally put up. This is Ronnie Rowe Designs um, of the Pen and Ink series. And I don't even remember which one of these that it is. It might be Colonial. It's some kind of Colonial house. Could be Williamsburg. Not sure. I have another piece um, like this of the Pen and Ink Designs black and white that I need to get framed. And then the third one that I'm, uh, that I'm working on as well. And uh, 
it's, uh, you know, coming along. That's my travel piece, so it's something that I, I don't do very often. But um, I love the, the matting on this particular piece because it is, um, I think it helps really, you know, pop the picture. I think what I'm going to do with the other black and white pieces is go with a different color. Um, still go with sort of the darker theme. Um, maybe do a darker green, a darker blue, or something like that to make this pop. But I'll do a close-up picture, close-up for you, because all it is is black 310 on white Ada fabric, and it was a bugger to like keep straight. It's only four pieces of um, four pieces of paper, four pieces of uh, pattern, um, but it's just very detailed. There's a lot to do there. Um, so, let me step back here and show you guys what the wall actually looks like, because this is kind of what you'll see the next time I do a video. So, the wall is pretty big though, there's still plenty of room for more cross stitch, but um, for right now, that's what we have framed, and I'm super happy with how everything looks and the way it's put up there, and more and more things are going to get added as time goes by especially if I can stay diligent with some of my smaller pieces and get them up there. But um, I hope you guys like it. Um, you know, it's it's just, I, I love this hobby. I love this whole thing. I love Stitch Mania. I love Floss Tube. It's just, you know, it's just, those of us who cross stitch, you guys know what I'm talking about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be back probably in roughly a week or so to do an update on my progress on everything and see if there's anything else new to, to report to you. But for now, and I apologize again for the shakiness of the video, I'm holding the stand. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day. Happy stitching. Uh, have a wonderful beginning of May and we'll talk to you later.